Lexicon. Welcome back, Katie. Um, so far, so good. Like, what's your first impressions of this? A feng shui thing going on. Oh, go oh, for no, it. There we go. <laughs> you know when you sit at the bar with people and they're like this the whole time? So there we go. Oh. Now we can all see each other. I'm all about sitting however you guys feel. Did you get to keep the puppets is the question. No. <gasps> Though, what? maybe they'll let us, like, at the end. Because, you know, those they might have another guest star spot like or something. I feel like if they turn you into a puppet, you get to keep it. The weird like, thing is the puppets are in, like, a box on the Wave Rider. <laughs> So they, like, in the middle of, I actually have a good video that's spoilers coming for, because I shadowed the, the episode that's coming, I shadowed the director, so I wasn't in it, but I was behind the scenes, so we kept finding the puppets in this box everywhere, and I bring it out often and make out with yours, I don't know about, <laughs> like, they, I don't want you to have it, actually, because it's like my, my other you. You, you can have it, you can tell. Yes! <laughs> I think the one that's coming up is gonna be a pretty cool one. But I also loved the one that just, was, no, like t aired two times ago where we were, when we got to dance. The tango? The, yeah. Can we talk about that? Did you guys have to go through train? I, I actually had that later on as a question. Did you guys have to go through training for? We, we did have a uh, choreographer that came in to teach us and so we had a rehearsal and we, we're fighting a lot because who who gets to lead? Who gets to lead? And I was like, I'm taller than you. Okay, spin. did you guys look at my phone? Because that was my next question. Yeah. And Jess is kind of a control freak. <laughs> Actually, at some point in the rehearsal, I was like, bitch needs to step back. Because <laughs> she would be like, you have the timing wrong. It's supposed to be your left foot back. You did, and it was. <laughs> <laughs> and trying to like move my feet. What was that line? It was like that. Like, was a, that was on the Ronda Jean. Yeah. Mona says something. <laughs> I believe there's something happening in the bureau, and you keep saying that word wrong. Mona says something. It, w it was hard. <laughs> That's the second time she's called me a bitch on the stage. <laughs> I think I wasn't here to defend myself the last time. <laughs> bitch, what? I love you so much. So, this character, on, when I got Ava, I, I wanted it so bad. I, I auditioned for a bunch of other Arrowverse shows and I really wanted Ava. And after our chem read, I really wanted Ava. <laughs> Watch what I do to this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys had a favorite Ava Lance scene this, this season? season? <laughs> that you can talk Definitely about? Definitely the tango. Oh my God, my birthday. <laughs> I think it was probably like a lot cooler for you because you didn't have to be in lingerie in front of the whole crew. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so the camera guys were like this. They were like, action. They were like pushing and they'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get it? <laughs> um, so would you rather be the Queen of England or the Mother of Dragons? Mother of Dragons. Mother of Dragons. <laughs> Whoever answers first gets that one. <laughs> so you have to be the queen of England. Oh my god, that's a funny story, but you can't tell it. <laughs> Just realized. I want. I remember when I went in to the meeting last season. They're like, "What? What would you like to do this season?" I was like, "Well, I want to be the mother of dragons, <laughs> and I want to like ride on, you know, like a back of a dragon, and all my clothes to burn off, and me come out as the mother of dragons. Like that's what I want." Would you rather fight the fight to the death of a hundred foot Bebo or a man eating magical unicorn? Bebo. Fight to the death of a hundred foot Bebo. <laughs> Thought I had to say it first. <laughs> <laughs> it is it man? Oh uh, well, yeah. I guess he does kind of. The one that ate Gary's nipple. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, poor nipple. <laughs> I guess if you're taking Bebo, I'll handle the unicorn. <laughs> That's why I took it, because I knew you could handle it. Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather uh, have to survive in a snowsuit in the desert or naked in Ar Antarctica? Snowsuit desert. Naked in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> snowsuit 
snowsuit in a desert. Naked in Antarctica? You would, I mean, I guess it's like the worst. <laughs> Freezing to death would be better. Is a less painful death probably than like dehydration and... Anyways, next question. I was gonna die. <laughs> uh, Surviving. <laughs> that is true. Uh, would you rather go back in the past to meet your ancestors or go far in the future to meet your great-great-grandchildren? Far in the future. Back in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's truly. I'm really curious to know what's going to happen to the world. Like, where we're going, what's going to happen. I don't want to know. <laughs> um, would you rather have a rewind button on life or a pause button on life? Pause. <laughs> um, Hi. What do you love most about Ava? Her heart. Yeah. I was gonna say boobs. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm about to ask you if you could like share it to people like your idea with the no. mother. I can't. I told you in secrecy. <laughs> we at were, my table we wanted, in public. We wanted to make the hashtag, the hashtag happen. But you have to make it happen. <laughs> I didn't say anything at the table. <laughs> I love you though. <laughs> and I really want to play the female Ruther. I can't say that with my teeth, but. Really. You would be good at that. So, Katie and Jess, what are your favorite snazzy send offs from Sarah? Uh, Something Puritan, Puritan. That's what I, was I love that one! Because you're about to get our Puritan, Puritan. Yeah. yeah. And I like jumped up on the thing and it was like, no, no, too much. It was too much. <laughs> yeah, that one. If Bebo Day were a national holiday, how would Sarah and Ava celebrate? <laughs> Take off from work. Take off your clothes. <laughs> yes, but it seems like it should be some kind of furry costume thing. Oh! I really like the, uh, all the leather, and even working with Amy Gideon in Sirens of, of Space Time. The yeah. leather, leather, that was. We awesome. were like feeling that leather, all of us. We're just like, you look good, and you look good, we look good, and I look good, and good, good, good. Also to myself, stop being such a freaking control freak. Just, you know, don't date a clone. <gasps> She hates it when I say the C word. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. I'm kidding! Aww. I brought my memory flashy. <laughs> I think how John Constantine and Sarah are actually just friends and very nice to each other, and even though they're exes. Well, not really exes. We never Love dated. Her. I think Sarah views like John Constantine as like the you know like, ooh that was a that was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> so then I think I was having delusions. I must have thought it was Ava. I don't know. <laughs> but I do like watching them fight over me. There's no fight, honey. <laughs> Sing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I snapped her neck and she still moved. <laughs> Did anyone see that? <laughs> and I whispered in her ear, I'm gonna snap your neck. <laughs> and she just went. <laughs> like, I, I was just wondering what your favorite thing is about working with one another. Oh my God. <laughs> such Truly, like she's such a powerhouse. She has been on this, in these universes for so long. She's such a pro. She knows what she wants. She's, you know, and, and it's, it's, let's be honest, it's her show. We got a female number one over here. Woo! It doesn't happen. Like, it doesn't happen. And, you know, and then I come in and I'm like, and I'm on the show too. And she's just like, oh. and she puts up with my shit. I, I think she's, I, I, I think she's a tremendous, tremendous person. I really love you. Aww, I love you too. Um, Can I say something else? What? No, like, I feel like our, like, acting with you, like, we have amazing chemistry together. Like, it's so easy. Like, I don't have to try. Um, which is, and you're hilarious and always a good time. And, yeah. <laughs> Would Batwoman DJ at, at the Wave Rider for any of your birthdays? That I mean, that would be great. I mean, I don't know if I want Batwoman near Miss Lots. <laughs> it's so funny. I just don't think I'm that interesting. I, I really. I'm just this really beautiful, self deprecating funny woman. I mean, why would anybody want to meet me? from Hong Kong to see you. But I want to meet them. <laughs> this is the thing, it's weird. I, I get, I can't answer it. Aww. I think it's it's crazy. You guys don't know, well this is gonna turn, this is gonna take a turn. Uh, but a, a, a very close friend of mine, who's very young, 15 years old, passed away. Uh, from another charity that I do. I've been friends with her for a long time. You know about her. And yeah. And, but her funeral's today. Legitimately today. And, um, and I was like, God, I want to go. And this girl, this little girl fought cancer for a long time. And she was a gymnast and a dancer. And I used to FaceTime her on set. And we were always trying to fly her out. And, um, sorry. But I just know that. She would have ne she would have never let me not come be here with other powerful women that are trying to have a voice in anything. I mean, she was she was so adamant about the amount of money that goes into childhood cancer and all, this, and we're doing the same thing here in representation. And she if I so I, I almost didn't come and, and I just could hear her saying you you have to go be that inspiration. Like she made me feel like I was an inspiration and I I really don't I really wanted to be here to meet you guys. It's it's truly the truth. So I um. It, I don't, that's what I take away. I don't want anybody to know what to take away from this. You give me everything that gets taken away. You know, I don't know if that made sense. Wow. Take away, live every day. And you're enough. And live every day and to its fullest. Truly, because truly, that's this, like, could just stop, you know? And, and live every day. Can we all send... Emma a message right now and all together yell Emma we love you because I feel like she'll hear it yes okay ready one two three Emma we love you thank you guys on that note thank you thank you thank you uh, let's have another round of